Today we will be assembling a generator that powers a light bulb. Project number six of Dowling Magnet's Science Discovery Motor Generator Kit. Here's the project in action. To order your own motor generator kit, visit www.dowlingmagnets.com or call 1-800-MAGNET-1. Most of the materials needed are included in the kit, but you will need a few extra items. Included in the kit are a spool of magnet wire, two plastic tubes, two plates for the rotor, three hex nuts for the rotor, three iron cores, two nails, four small wood screws, two medium wood screws, two long wood screws, one bolt, six neodymium magnets, a wood block, a small sheet of light sandpaper, and an LED light. You will also need masking tape, a Phillips head screwdriver, a wire coat hanger, wire cutters, and two 10 inch by 2 and 3 8 inch pieces of corrugated cardboard. First, you will need to create a winding mechanism to properly wind the magnet wire around the iron core. Start by folding the cardboard into quarters. Use the box the kit came in as the base for the winding mechanism. Tape the folded cardboard onto the side of the box. Take the coat hanger and cut it into a 7 inch piece and a 10 and a half inch piece. Bend the ten and a half inch piece into a crank. Push the wire hanger pieces through the peaks of the corrugated cardboard and the box. Take an iron core and tape each end to the wire hanger crank. To create the wire spool holder, you'll first need the wooden block and the plastic plates. Align the two holes at the bottom of the plastic plates with the holes in the side of the wooden block. Screw the plates in using the small screws. Next, take the bolt and place it through one of the holes in the plastic plates. Take the spool of magnet wire and place it on the bolt. 
Now take a nut and screw it onto the bolt. Then place the bolt through the hole in the other plastic plate. Screw another nut onto the outside of the bolt. This will help keep the bolt from falling out. Take a plastic tube and tape it to the end of the wooden block. Take the end of the magnet wire and pull it through the plastic tube. Tape a length of wire to the end of the iron core on the winding mechanism. Make sure to leave about 6 inches of extra wire as a lead. This setup will help to ensure an even unspooling of the wire. Start turning the crank and winding the wire around the core slowly. Use your fingers to guide the wire. Stop every fifth or so turn and push the wire together into a tighter coil. Take your time with this. A successful project depends on getting as many windings in as small space as possible. When you get to the end of the core, continue winding back to the other end. Continue making the windings as tight as possible. You will need to make a total of six layers of wire. When you finish, you should have two leads coming off the same end of the core. Remove the magnet wire and nuts from the bolt. Screw two nuts onto the bolt between the two plastic plates and one on the outside of the plate. Move one of the nuts to the middle of the bolt. Place a piece of tape next to the nut and screw it on. This will allow the nut to rotate with the bolt. Place one neodymium magnet on each side of the centered nut. Make sure to place the magnets alternating north and south. Be careful as the magnets are very powerful. You can test to see if they alternate by spinning the bolt with a compass next to the magnets. Make sure the magnets are lined up with two of the holes in the center of the wooden block. Screw the two medium length screws into these two holes. They will be used to hold the coil in place. You will need to bend the coil into a U shape.
Place the bent coil between the two screws with the magnet between the tips of the coil. Once the position is established, tape the coil to the screw so that it won't move. Make sure the tips of the coil are about 1 16th of an inch away from the magnet, as this allows more current to be generated. Spin the bolt to make sure that the magnets clear the coil. Use the sandpaper to sand off the insulation from each of the leads of the magnet wire. Place the leads into each of two holes at the end of the wood block. Now take an LED and place each one of its leads into the holes with the magnetic wire. Push a small nail into each of the holes to ensure a better connection. Twist or flick the bolt quickly to get the magnetic rotor to spin. Look for the small flash from the LED. Going further, Try adding more coils to the generator and watch the light get brighter. Have fun! When winding the magnet wire, make sure to make the coils as tight as possible. Take your time with this, as the more coils and layers of wire, the stronger the magnetic field. Place masking tape around the pliers when bending the coil to avoid cutting the wire. Finally, make sure to get the ends of the iron core as close to the magnetic wheel as possible. Good luck! The Science Discovery Kits will celebrate their 20th anniversary in 2013. Dowling Magnets would like to thank the inventor and creator, Dean Knight of Sonoma Valley High School in Sonoma, California, for all his work on these top-selling science kits. Follow us on Twitter at Dowling Magnets, like us on Facebook.com slash Dowling Magnets, and for more product information, please visit DowlingMagnets.com.